Welcome to EA Sports live coverage of this friendly. Today it's AC Milan against Manchester City. Let's head off to one of Europe's great stadiums, the San Siro, looking resplendent on this beautiful, clear, sunny day. The commentary team, Martin Tyler and Alan Smith. We welcome you to this friendly fixture today. I'm Martin Tyler, Alan Smith is with me. And we are looking forward to seeing what this game brings us. This is the Milan lineup. Diego Lopez starts in goal. Gabriela Paletta starts alongside Philippe Mexes in central defence. Nigel de Jong plays with Marco van Hinkel in the engine room. Mattia Destro is the lone striker today. Manchester City's lineup today. Joe Hart starts in goal. Pablo Zabaleta starts with Alexander Kolarov as the fullbacks. Fernando plays with Yaya Toure in central midfield. In attack, Sergio Aguero joins up with Wilfried Bonny. Two really hit the heights, haven't they? Manchester City have got to do better in Europe, I guess. Yeah, I think they have. Uh, it takes time. You look at Manchester United and how long it took them, but uh, they're heading in the right direction. They made a better fist of it. Last season under Pellegrini, no shame in going out to Barcelona. And the official today, Krista Sundergaard. <laughs> Manchester City started this first half. Fernando Sergio Aguero I think it was a foul the referee straight away has blown for it Nigel de Jong well this season's almost over he's got 12 yellow cards and it's something to reflect on in the close season about improving his discipline definitely I mean he's played pretty well overall Martin but his discipline has not been up to standard goalkeeper had it covered it was an ambitious try yeah it was and perhaps a little bit greedy a bit selfish as well <laughs> Jeremy Menes Menez! Well, with these footballs, you've got to hit them right in the sweet spot, and he certainly didn't that time. No, he didn't. He bobbled on towards the goalkeeper. It was a poor effort. Martin Di Michelis. Alan, what do you think about his form recently? Been struggling, hasn't he? It's not the kind of form that we've become accustomed to with this lad. I don't know what's going on. Wilfried Bonny. Gets his foot in there. Navas Gonzalez. Could be dangerous. Jesus Navas. And that's the way to defend. Make sure the opposition can't get on the ball in that part of the pitch. Fernando. Well, everyone knows he's the playmaker, so if you're given the ball by him, you've got to give it back to him, and that's what they've done. And in goes the cross. Aguero! Well, all credit for shooting, but it wasn't a very good shot. Jesus Navas. Alan, what do you think about his form recently? Been struggling, hasn't he? It's not the kind of form that we've become accustomed to with this lad. I don't know what's going on. Attacking 
now. Silva. He's got to pass it out to the player giving the width on this side of the field. And that will be a throw. Kolorov. Well, the attacker is now spoilt for choice, really, in terms of support. Silva. Throw in now. And they're getting the game going with a quick throw. Bonaventura. Jeremy Menes. Ignacio Abate. Here's the young. Bonaventura. Front got to be. And it is a corner for Milan. That's a very good save following the corner. Here's the York. Attacking play from Milan. Nigel De York. Bonaventura. And here's the shot. Milan have a corner. the goalkeeper's ball from the corner Mattia Destra tackle here Yaya Toure Jesus Navas Corner for Manchester City. Yaya Toure. Well, we are late in the season. There's still a few games to go, but only eight goals so far, Alan. Yeah, it's been disappointing. There's no getting away from that, and uh, needs really to get a few to make it into a respectable figure. Yaya Toure goes for goal. Corner now for Manchester City. That's no problem for the goalkeeper, it's straight at him. Bonaventura. And it will go into the middle now. Excellent piece of defensive. So it's half time and we're still waiting for that first goal. Half time and very well matched in every respect, isn't it? With the, the way they've played and the efforts of goal they've had. Yeah, exactly so. And it might just come down to which goalkeeper is in the better form. So we've reached half-time and the game is scoreless. So the referee's happy. The players are in position. The second half gets underway. Jeremy Menes. Bonaventura. Wonderful interception. Philippe Mexes. Nigel De Jong. 
Nunes. Milan ready to make the change. Here's the York. Jeremy Menes. It's with De Jong. In with a chance. Not a decisive save. Aguero. Trying to find Jesus Navas. And that little deflection has sent the ball over the touchline. Well, we're still level here, and we're going to have a substitution. Is this the way to alter the match in their favour? The throw is intercepted. Bonaventura. Substitution for Milan. And it's Milan trying to attack now. Yeah, he's gone too early. He's offside. You just want your striker to, to delay that one. He's pretty quick. He can afford to give the defender another yard. We might look back at the end of the match at this decision one way or another. The scores are level. And only comes to try and tilt the game his team's way. Sergio Aguero. Bill Triponi. Jesus Navas. One off, one on for Milan. Silva. Bill Triponi. Pablo Zabaleta. It's a chance to go left. He's looking left, and that's where the help is arriving. Tura. Oh, he loves that, doesn't he? And it's come off for him again. He goes for goal. Still in play here. Here's the yacht. Substitute is ready for Man City. Well, we could get some news on the injury. I think Jeff Shreves is on the case. Here's the chance. The goal here could be absolutely crucial. It will put them in front, of course. Where they are normally strong in midfield. They've been weak today and... This lad's uh, going to pay the price for that. He's the one replaced. So they needed to get a bit of uh, coal into the engine in the engine room, I think. Yeah, it just seemed to lack legs. And as a result, the opposition were able to gain ground and dominate the middle of the park. And that's been decisive. Disappointing day for the midfield player who's been taken off now. And the crowd also venting their spleen at him. Uh, he's better than we've seen today. It's uh, a very much a lacklustre performance by his standards. Yeah, it has been. We'll be lucky to get a four in the morning newspapers because uh, far below the standards we expect of him. Could be dangerous. Toure. Well, they're building steadily here, working away. Some of the fans there thinking that should be a corner, but it's a throw. Well, when we look back on the game, this will be a key moment. It could work for them, it could work against them, this change.
Dzeko. And the ball goes out for a goal kick. Sully now. Bonaventura. Actually, that interception could have decided the game, protecting the position. Well, after 90 minutes, the scores are level. Very, very close, as the scoreline suggests, over the regulation period. Now we've got extra time. Can that separate the two sides? Touré he wants it back from his teammate. And there it is, it's come back. It's with Touré. Milner. Here's the cross. Touré. He stopped them going behind here. Well, at this stage in the game, that is a vital stop. Manchester City get a corner. because it's uh, got the ball well out of harm's way. James Milner. He's taking a touch from the player to go over the line. Here comes the replay. What reflex is there from the keeper? Sully Montari. Jeremy Menes. Sully Montari. And that's a cross that's easy to defend. Not sure it was your forte, the slide tackle, but what about this one? Well, it's this lad's forte because he really just nicked the ball away cleanly. That's a clever little clip into a teammate. Here's the shot. Super stop, Joe Hart. Milan get a corner. time to be played. <laughs> Second period of extra time here. Luca Antonelli. What a good interception. Uh, Yaya Toure, tall and strong, and he needed to be there. 
James Milner. In a goal, in with a chance. That's a brilliant goal. Just marvellous for Manchester City to get such a late goal and potentially decisive goal. Just when you thought it was going to end in a draw as well. And here is another angle on that goal. Oh, the goal coming so late in this match, unexpectedly in many ways, and you can't see any way back now for the training team. from the scoring here, 1-0. Minis. Abate. Jeremy Minis. It's Milan trying to change the shape of this game. Well, the manager on the sidelines has made his intentions clear. He's waving quite a few defenders forward. Just going to get that ball into the box, whichever way is possible. Got to be. Well, that could be something we'll be talking about at the end of the game, which will be pretty soon. Uh, real opportunity. Yeah, just when you need a cool, composed head. Couldn't provide it. I think he uh, had a lack of concentration. That was his undoing there. <laughs> Manchester City get the result here they wanted. They've won. So it's full time with a final score 1 0. I'll leave you with the full match highlights, and until next time, I've been Jeff Stelling. See you then. Welcome to EA Sports' live coverage of this friendly. Today, it's Borussia Dortmund against Liverpool. We're heading straight for the signal in Juna Park right now. Conditions are absolutely perfect, the sun beating down from the German sky. Your commentary team, Martin Tyler and Alan Smith. Friendly match for you today. I'm Martin Tyler, Alan Smith with me in the commentary box. Looking forward to describing the action for you. Liverpool, Alan became the first team to score over 100 goals in the top division of English football and not win the league since 1966. Uh, they did everything but win it, didn't they? Well, didn't they just? I think uh, without them, it wouldn't have been the sensational Premier League season that it was. Contributed so much, just couldn't sustain it. This is the Borussia Dortmund lineup. This is the Liverpool side. It is a fantastic sight watching football at uh, Dortmund's ground. You do think that they have all the resources now to maybe even topple by a minute, but somehow <laughs> history tells you it's not going to happen. No, they can't quite compete on a financial level, can they? But uh, what a ground, one of the most atmospheric in Europe for me, and that standing area behind the goal, the yellow wall, it's just incredible. The match official is Zacharias Krizvici. the game has started good to act he's coming forward with some danger 
Sven Bender found his teammate well. Great opportunity. Here's the chance, and they've scored. a decent effort at it but because it's hit first time because it's hit with power he can't get there Alan have another look at this goal Keep the move going if they want. Sterling off the post. It's Liverpool who score. a goal well worth analysing again. This isn't an easy match to call in terms of who will win, but let's look to see how Liverpool do. Pegging again at 1-1. Shinji Kagawa. Marcel Schmelzer. Gunduan. Brandon Rogers recognised at the end of the 13-14 uh, season by his fellow managers as the manager of the year, although he didn't have any silverware to show for it as a team. No, he didn't. And uh, he and the players, of course really disappointed with that but they've made a big step well they're in a good position here Coutinho Gerard. Could get his cross in now. On to Gerard. Good defensive play here. Jordan Henderson. Coutinho. Steven Gerrard. And he takes the shot. Still in play here. What a good piece of defensive clearance that was. Jordan Henderson. If he wants to go to the right, that's where the options are. There's the ball in. Oh, and he's up to head it away. In midfield, they've got it back via an interception. They've got the ball back. The interceptor got it for them. Well, everyone knows he's the playmaker, so if, if you're given the ball by him, you've got to give it back to him, and that's what they've done. It goes towards Alabama Yang. Cross that had to be dealt with. Coutinho. To Allen. And they've got the ball back through a very good interception. Gunduan. 
picked up. Patino. Henderson. Bender. Sven Bender. Marcel Schmelzer. Brilliant opening, in with a chance. Corner given. Try and get these corners away from the goalkeeper. He's taken it well. Bender. Good to add. And that's the half time whistle from the referee. 1 1 at the break. No sign really of which of these two sides is going to pull away. And they're both striving hard to do that with the number of shots that they've had. Yeah, and if it carries on like this, it might just be decided on which goalkeeper's in the better form. Everything set for the second half. Coutinho. He's got support to his right. Joe Allen. Good judgment there to make that interception and clear the ball away. Shinji Kagawa. He's controlling the play here. His teammates just borrow the ball for a few moments and then give it back to the main man. Pierre Emerick Aubameyang. Marcel Schmelzer. Here comes the cross. I think it's really hard. It's probably the hardest part of officiating to get these offside calls right. They do it much more often than not, don't they? You just want your striker to, to delay that run. He is pretty quick. He can afford to give the defender another yard. It's an opportunity for the substitute to really make himself a hero here. The game is level. And can he be the man to instigate his team going in front? Glenn Johnson. That will be Liverpool's throw in. Jordan Henderson. Joe Allen. Good forward play from them. Well, that's widened the game here, and they've got it to the wide man well. Offside given, and the players are accepting it. Yeah, and I think defensively, yeah, they were, there was good communication across that back line. They all pushed up as a team. Hummels. Good to add. Henderson. Quickly back to his feet. And either side, he's got players who can help him here. Freshening it up, Liverpool, with the substitute now. Can go in from here. Great chance. Gerard! And the keeper can collect this one. Bender. Bender. Pierre Emerick Aubameyang. 
Hummels. Blachikovsky. Hummels. Marcel Schmelzer. So let's have a look at the possession stats on the screen now. There they are. Yeah, very close. I think we could probably tell that without even looking at the figures. Not much to split these two sides. Allen. Henderson. To Allen. Played into the middle. And that will be a throw. One of the backup brigade is going to have a chance centre stage. Eric Dub. It's Kagawa. Substitute is ready, I think, to come on for Dortmund. It's very close to the end of the game. And it's still level, and we've been that way for some time. Is there a winner? We see a substitute coming on for the away team here. And on the clock, eight more minutes. Joe Allen. Kevin Campbell. Only five minutes of the 90 still to go, and the scores are still level. To reach for it, slid into the tackle. Marco Royce. Shinji Kagawa. Cross coming in now. It goes towards Alabama Yang. Here is the opportunity to pep up the attack. The scores are level, and he's bringing on an attacker. We've just put an extra weight on those midfielders to uh, just shore up that area, but uh, with the extra striker, we have to fancy them now. Sven Bender. Good to act. Marco Royce keeps it going. Got to be. Very good effort at a very important time of the game, but just, just off target. Just looking at his manager jumping up and down. He thought he'd scored. Challenge. Not long left, but that's a foul, and it will be a free kick. Rice! Poor lad, feel sorry for him, really, because at this time, he should have done a lot better. He should have. I've been in that situation. You have to feel for him. And the 90 minutes are up now, and the whistle goes. It's still level. Extra time in the past has produced some magnificent periods of play as teams get tired and... Other factors come into play. We'll see what this brings. Bender will get it back here. Kevin Campbell. Well, that's a clever little clip into a teammate. Not much margin for error, but the player didn't make an error. He read it very well, and they're still surviving at this important stage. Giro Immobile. And the defender has done very well here. Got his foot in. Johnson. That's 
a good challenge. Good to one. Pierre Emerick, Obama Young. And it's going to be his throw here. Giro Immobile. Kevin Campbell. And the shot's on. That's off the top of the crossbar and behind. Extra time now, and the second period of it. So here we go with the second period of extra time. Mario Balotelli. Sven Bender. Yeah, Emmerich, Obama Yang. And it's passed back again. Kevin Campbell. He could cross it from here. Pierre Emmerich, Obama Yang. And now he's looking for some support. Gone in strongly. And that will be Liverpool's throw in. Throw is intercepted. Giro Immobile. And he shoots. They've been relying on the goalkeeper a lot today and again here late on. Yeah, really good save. I think the rest of his team thought that the opposition had scored there. It's poor at the throw. He's thrown it straight to the opposition. Mario Balotelli. Look to change the point of this attack. It's gone out to the wingman. He's into the challenge. I've seen players wilt at this stage of a game, and he is wilting. So there we are. It's all level still, and the match will be decided from the penalty spot. It's a shootout. the shootout and he's put it in well when it works Martin great when it doesn't you look a right fool don't you sure from the spot in the shootout away with it just he's hit the post no he's hit the bar oh, his body shape was all wrong leaning back on it no nerves from him in this shootout has been deceived by that well it takes a bottle to stutter on the run up but he had it and it paid off and the penalty is off target oh, nobody likes to see a player miss under those circumstances stepping up for this vital penalty i oh, wouldn't want to be in his shoes too high not by much for too high oh it's a wayward effort it's a sloppy one really and 
and he's got away with it, he scored. It's a really difficult technique that, you know, because it spoils your momentum, but he really accomplished it well. Oh, tension got to him, made it easy for the goalkeeper, and it is down to him. Well, brave for volunteering, stepping up to the mark. All on his shoulders, and a brilliant winning penalty. He's the kind of character you want in that situation, brilliant. Oh, the penalty shootout, such a nerve-wracking event. And it's been decided by that. I hope you've enjoyed it. From Alan Smith and myself, Martin Tyler. We'll see you next time. Well, what drama in the penalty shootout there.